Healthcare, in some organizations we've worked in healthcare, their engagement is incredibly high. And it's not, I can guarantee you, in some of the ones we work in, it's not because their pay is incredibly high. It is because they feel that they're serving a larger purpose and, and they can see the output of that purpose, right? They're helping people or they're seeing people. So they as an individual feel that that's what am I calling, that's why I exist, I'm here to help people and I'm being able to express that through my work and by helping people do that and we see that in healthcare. So that can be measured and that's a very good proxy for engagement. So you can't actually ask, you can't actually drill into someone's brain and find out, you know, how engaged they are at any given time. But when you, what you do with the survey is you ask, ask a range of questions. And those questions, how people respond, has been shown to valid and reliably represent that level of engagement in, in the workplace. These are the six questions uh, that seem to, or statistically, correlate the most with business performance. So this particular organization, teamwork, innovation, and professional growth came out as the top three areas that they had to focus on to improve engagement. Ongoing research linking scores on those engagement questions to better business performance, whether it's service, higher sales, uh, this, is, this is quality, uh, manufacturing company reduced errors by higher engagement, uh, and this is just the research, the source of the research. Safety, <coughs> retention, revenue, so all of the scores went up. But somehow, trust has to start to build. And, and this is a tool to start to build. And one of the most effective ways to build that trust is face-to-face -face communication between the manager and the boss. It's a very effective tool. To contact us, or to learn more, just Google Talent Map, or simply click on the link below.